Hi, welcome to the Alyssa Goodman Show. And every week I have the honor of interviewing game changers in the wellness arena. And I can't believe it took me this long to have Dr. Erin on my show because I have known her for probably, I feel like a year and a half. And the minute I met her, I just was instantly in love. She is a doctor of divinity and she radiates love and just spiritual guidance that is the most incredible human standing up giving talks. I just, you melt in front of her. So I am so happy to have her because she started this Soul Society. I'm not sure I'm even saying that soul right. Society. Thank it's you, like soul two society. words in one. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Which is such an incredible thing this year. Um, and I know we'll talk about that, yeah. um, but welcome. Thank Welcome. you so much. So, I can God. pay her later. So yeah, <laughs> this is good. She's not paying me but at no, all. But it is but... funny. Is like, I mean, we have known each other. And I feel like, I was like, I haven't been on a show. Like, I it's know. like bizarre. I felt the I same way like the I, other I've week. I've been here. I've been here already. And after Spirit. I went to your event, I was like, <laughs> this was like, this should have been done a long time ago. Well, so, I love your work. Thank I you. I always, you have just this authentic spirit about you and and you're, you're a good man. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been told that. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm a good man. I love it. I thought it was all about the feminine power these days. I'm so anti that whole conversation. I you think. are? You know what? Because that is a big is, thing these this days. This is the thing. Okay. Um, actually, Brendan Bouchard was talking about this. He goes, and I, and I completely uh, agree with him. So when you go to safari in Africa, when uh-huh. I went to safari in Africa, I took my son there. And all the animals, all these, you, you think you're going to have a scary line or this, whatever. The scariest thing is the, the mothers. The mothers are the most aggressive. So what's to say what's masculine and feminine? It is really mm. a cultural belief, if you think about it. Yeah. There really is, I mean, from a spiritual perspective, it's really about the masculine that impregnates the subconscious and subjective mind that births the demonstration of the manifestation of whatever. So there really is no... What is feminine and one, what's masculine? Very fascinating. Right? I've never heard it put that way. It's, I mean, it's really, we've just been programmed to. Yes. Yeah. You know, take these things on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's, you know, so it's, you're saying really it's okay to feel both like, to, to, and also to be, now don't go, don't stray away from being masculine. Whatever. You, yeah. I what, don't know how we got on the tangent, yeah. but it was like, it was just one of those things. We just had to go there. <laughs> That's true. So, okay. So tell me like, you know, Doctor of Divinity, how you've been doing this a long time. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, mean, I tell my story so much. So I feel like everyone's heard it, but maybe your, uh, you know, maybe your audience hasn't heard it, but at 22, I had a stillborn. So that is really okay. what was the impetus right. for, for, you know, taking me on this big track of trying to figure out what the hell we're doing here and mm-hmm. what my spiritual nature is and really trying to heal myself. So yeah, it's been, I'm, I, I can say my age because I'm immortal, but I'm 47. So you don't look it. it's been a while. I've been on this track for yeah, a while. You yeah. have, uh-huh. you have. And mm-hmm. it's led you to beautiful places, Yeah, right? It's, and it, yeah. even more so lately, would you say? Even um, more so lately. And, and yes, because there, I said at the at Soul Society, the event, I said, can I swear on here? <laughs> <laughs> I said, faith fucking works because it's like mm. we, we know we know when we start going on this track we know when we believe in whether it be in wellness and knowing that you can heal yourself yeah. from cancer exactly. or whether you believe that you can heal yourself from trauma of having a uh, you know stillborn or whatever and you begin to have this vision of what you truly feel like you're put here on the planet to do and at that soul side event that you went to mm-hmm. it was one of those demonstra- demonstrations where you realize like oh I've had this vision for a long time. And when it really comes true, it's a real celebration of like, right. this is a demonstration of faith. Mm-hmm. Right. Can we talk a little bit about that? Because I feel like, you know, we do, we're, we're not as connected to our faith or our higher powers or whatever it is that you believe in. Um, I'm seeing that a lot in my practice. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like people are really, you know, um, believing that they can mm-hmm. get through things or mm-hmm. that they can accomplish and and, ha- and manifest things to come true. Mm-hmm. So how, how do you do it? And how do you potentially teach people yeah, to- Yeah, it's a great thing. You know, there's that movie called Bird Box. Have you seen that? I'd have. Yeah, and it's a real fascinating. I, I'm not into horror flicks, so it's a little kind of interesting movie. Like, why do I want to feel terrible when I'm watching a movie? Right. But the point of the movie for me is such a profound um, uh, metaphor 
of what really is going on here. And all of our senses want to take us out into the world and yeah. want this to be what's real. And what any, we see in front yes, of us. Yes, and any time we look to the world to look at what's real or not real, we will instantaneously always feel disempowered. Mm -hmm. Always. We will always feel divided. We will always wow, feel true. like we you know, were the effect of something. Yeah. And so, of course, faith, of course, is always going within and knowing the truth that spirit, our true self, creates from nothing, always. Mm -hmm. And when you know that, and when you know that what you energize will always expand, when you go within and you know if you stand principle mm -hmm. and, you, and you believe and you keep taking inspired action, it's destiny. Right. And that's faith. It's not having blind faith, like, oh, I'm hoping some man in the sky is going to figure it out for me. Right. Faith is knowing how the universe works, and it's knowing how we energize and how we use our mind to manifest and demonstrate. Right. Period. Yeah. How do you manifest? Uh, there's only way to. Do you way write to. it down? Do you, oh, you know, are yeah. there ways, yeah. like, like, that you actually... Uh -huh. I've changed. Some people I've just changed think about years, it, right? I used to do the whole vision board, and it was like one on one. You start visioning <laughs> from your ego. That's that, popular. That doesn't work out well. You always right. get what you want, and never what you really want. And then you start visioning, and you ask your higher self for your vision, and then you, you know, start projecting that out. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. <laughs> and then, and then for me, I got to a place of such faith that I don't even ever think about it. I don't do visioning. I don't really, no, no, you don't no. write anything down anymore. No, I don't do any of that anymore. And I think mm. there's a time and a place for that. Okay. But for me, it's really about getting clarity of what your true purpose and calling is. Mm -hmm. And when you know that, you don't have to remember it. <laughs> like, Cause it just like, all flows. Everything starts just, to. Yeah. You just go, I know what I'm here to put on, the, what I put on the planet for. And I just like, okay, what's the inspired action today? And you just allow and know that the universe is is doing exactly what it needs to do to develop you mm -hmm. to become and embody that. So for me, it's not like there's no more to-do list. Okay. It's, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you take on clients? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I need a little, uh, a little, right. little, little adjusting. Yeah. Well, the ticket, <laughs> the ticket, as you know, is subconscious work. Yeah. No, right. Number one, because the traumas are generally what's holding people back from really tapping in. Yeah. And then once you get that kind of a gooey layer off your consciousness, then you can tap in much easier and right. stay tapped in. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not like that's kind of blocking it from coming up. Yeah. Really Always look at it like this. Like sub if there's a par, like if you're at par, like free will, mm -hmm. your subconscious work is like way down here in the gunkiness and it mm -hmm. gets you up to free will. And when you get, people think once you do your subconscious work, then you're going to be Then you're going to be fine. It's Everything. Like, no. Then you have free will. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then the real practice to getting up here is that daily spiritual practice. So between the free will and... In. Yeah. That's really interesting. You're right. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people do think once I get, yeah. like, I look at my shadow and I see what's going on and I deal with my traumas yeah. and my... Then I'm going to be Gandhi and yeah. guru. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. But it's really once you get to that place. Mm -hmm. What what happens in that next layer? Like, um, what kind of work do you have to do? Is this consistent I, work on? I, I think the best analogy is like a relationship. It's a relationship between yourself and your higher self. Mm -hmm. And and. And how do you develop a good relationship? You have to spend time in that relationship. Yeah. You have to listen in that relationship. If you and I were always together and all I did was talk, you'd be like, yeah, I don't really like this relationship that much. This sucks. <laughs> I'm getting nothing or out of this. Or if I only listened and I didn't talk back, you'd be like, you need to have an opinion. No. Um, <laughs> so it's always like having a relationship. So I always think about meditation. Of course, there's a type of meditation where you listen and there's a type of meditation we call prayer or uh -huh. co concentrated meditation. Right. So there's like a spectrum. You go from a very... Um, uh, quieting the mind to directing the mind and you want to do both okay and that's the relationship and as you spend more time in the relationship with your higher self yeah it develops more and all of a sudden your higher self is speaking to you the voice right we hear about that and that's where your supernatural powers come on that's where the magic happens that's where you live heaven on earth mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. That, so you're, what you're saying is really spending more quality time with yourself. For sure. Like yeah. really, because mm -hmm. that, that's the only way to develop that's what it. you really want and listening to what you really want, yeah, right? right? I mean, so many people want their purpose and calling. They think, well, I'm going to go find it. Yeah, they're going to go. I, yeah, I was definitely one of those. Mm -hmm. I went to a lot of healers and spiritual, you know, and shamans and all that stuff because I was looking for the answers, but I wasn't looking for them yeah. with inside me. Mm -hmm. And you do both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I need that little push and then I need to pull back and go, okay, yeah. now, you know, because 
we do have the, all the answers in us. For sure. But we need what you do. Like, you do need to purify also. Right. You do need to align with Mother Nature. Yeah. And, you know, universal Cleanse laws. and That's eat right. good food need and a, sleep. Need a good soup cleanse. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? You do the soup cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> need to sleep. Need to, yeah, but drink I enough water. <laughs> you do not want to be around. I'm the mother elephant out there without my sleep. You yes. are. You can't oh. function. I just am completely, it's like, it's my one must have in my life. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, it's a must have for everybody. Yeah. Really. We just, none of us, when I tell my clients, you know, nine hours, they're like, what? You know, I get five I don't and get six. Quite nine. I know. If nine I got is the nine, magic. I can't even imagine what I'd be able to like, You'd be conquer on, the world. You would. <laughs> You'd be lighting it on fire, but you're already lighting it on fire. So, uh oh, that is true. Can you talk a little bit about what you've created? Yeah. With this? Well, Soul Society. Yeah. Um, so I think it's. You know, oh, years ago when I thing. when I began to really heal, yeah, and I was becoming a spiritual practitioner and a minister, and then a doctor of divinity, I would pray all the time and ask for my vision to come. I'd say, please, just you know, use me for the highest good, whatever. Right. And and I knew there was a show, mm -hmm. so hence, good morning, Lala. Okay. Birth Came out of that, right? Because I really wanted to mainstream consciousness, mm -hmm. you know. But really, what was was the truth for me is one of the hardest things I've ever had to overcome is feeling lonely in my life. Because even though I get tapped in and I feel so at one with the universe, I still feel like our culture is so divided. Right. And I knew that that was a big calling for me because uh -huh. I know that I struggle with that and I know other people struggle right. with that. And I feel like I was working in spiritual centers and it was great. I just feel like it's kind of old school. Mm -hmm. And the younger generations just don't really identify with, first of all, going to one location only. and. We have this whole thing called online now, right? right so, right. Um, and so I just thought, what do I want? That's really how Soul Society started. Okay. I want to have a community that we come together, know the truth, live on spiritual principle, understand universal law, understand how the subconscious works, and have that base. No matter where you're in the world, you can come together for different conference calls and teachings online. But then, what I want is, I love to be social. Go out, yeah. put on our makeup as women, whatever it is. Right. Go get dressed up and have deep conversations, have transformational experiences in beautiful places. And that's what I wanted. So, wow. and I couldn't, I never found that, right? I mean, mm -hmm. great yoga studios, right. great, you There's know, There's all sample, these retreats all out these there, things, all yeah. these, but yeah. not, not to the, not but what nothing, you're talking Yeah, about, right? I almost want a little glam mm -hmm. and, a, and major transformation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna create what I want. Wow, and so you did the first one, mm -hmm. um, and that was quite successful. Yes, yeah, so we've had. And what's some your other, goal? Well, we've had like eight other um, uh, events downtown Los okay. Angeles, um, but this was really the official one for Soul Society, and it's beautiful. Kimpton Hotel, yeah. beautiful spot, and I'm not sure exactly what we're doing. We're launching the chapters international right now. Okay, we've got ambassadors in quite a few cities already. The goal is by the end of 2019 to have it in all major cities. Okay, um, and um, and I is think, it easy to get these ambassadors? I have a feeling oh, yeah. it's not that I hard. Mean, people are dying to, yeah. to, to jump they, on board. They to are like, like they're this. like, thank you so much. I've been praying for this. You know, like. Mm -hmm. They've been waiting for this. Right, right. And I think in 2020, our goal will be to do some co-working spaces because I want a space that I can work with. With, other, with, with these other, other people. Yep. That, it's, most, it's all women right now. We don't yeah. exclude from men. Men can get involved. Yeah. Um, but it's a, it's all women right now, pretty much. So I just think that it's just the time. I want to go into a place, work, set our intention in the morning, be able to meditate, mm -hmm. have workshops, transformational workshops and whatever. So right. um, that'll be about a year from now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's fantastic. Now, speaking of only women, that is interesting. Why do you think, you know, just at the moment men yeah. haven't um, I mean, jumped on board or I think just, that, well, we will have men's circles, but I think it's yeah. important right now in history. It's not about, and again, I don't identify as a man or a woman. I'm a spiritual being, so right. I don't, it doesn't matter so much. I think it's more of, it is just something that women need right now to heal at some level, mm -hmm. some level with what we're going through. Mm -hmm. And there's a real camaraderie around the old school, like women, we used to be very competitive. Yes. And now we've switched into this, like, let me support you and yeah. help you. Let's Have we thrive. switched? We're, we're trying <laughs> we're to switch, trying. right? There's still a little bit of that. I know, there's always going to be that, right? I know, there's right? A, that's uh -huh. sort of ingrained in <laughs> yeah. us. But yes, that's so beautiful mm -hmm. to, yeah, have, be going that direction because that other direction isn't really doesn't work serving so well. us. Yeah. No. I'm sure it still goes on. For yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not serving us. But yeah. men, I feel like, you know, I know from men that I know and clients, like they could so use it as well. Yeah. Like and when I see mm -hmm. how, you know, fractured their soul is or, you know, how they're not tuning into yeah. themselves. Yeah. So we'll definitely be doing some um, male circles and mm -hmm. stuff. And really, I'm just, I, I'm a true believer that the universe will bring 
what you're ready for. And I think there will be they'll become a, a, a male like leader, if you will. Yeah, that will come. Right. And right. they'll be Agreed. able to hold those circles and whatever that is. So yeah. I'll just allow that to come when it's ready to come. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and do you, good morning, Lala. Like, mm -hmm. how how is that going? It's going amazing. We are, um, we had our year anniversary, December 4th, so we're, Whoa. whatever, a little over a year. Yeah. We've had um, probably 900 guests wow. on there. That's and incredible. I don't know how many shows, close to 300 yeah. now. And um, it's been so fascinating. Andy Waldman's amazing, Jez and Rob and everybody involved. And it's been a real, uh, lesson in allowing spirit to do what it's going to do because mm -hmm. i think all of us kind of had this like kind of like almost like we wanted to force it in certain directions at first right and then you just kind of go oh it's just going to do what it does and it's allowed everybody to have their you know like my business has completely expanded it's mm -hmm. allowed the right people to link up with other people um, right there's lots the of connection time, there's with... lots of people that will come on the show that there's two guests that will end up you know yeah doing business together or linking up for something else so that's that needed to meet yeah those exactly two. yeah mm -hmm. so just like what you're doing yeah with soul society i can't say yeah. that <laughs> i know it's it's one it's it's a divine soul, soul society. So it's like soul society. Soul society. Yeah. That's easy. Okay. It's a one word URL. Just like what you're doing with that, the show is actually yeah. doing that too, naturally. So Completely. it's all like, wow. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm massively impressed. And I always have been you know, since I met you. Yeah. I mean, well, just, I just adore you. Yeah. I adore you. Mm -hmm. That heartfulness, the genuineness, the just the pure radiance oh, that you, you show so the world is so needed thank you so much oh. yeah and if anyone's out there and they want to get involved soul society it yep. is we have a membership group we have a leadership group okay and we have an ambassador and there's everything's very the membership's very affordable okay and we come together every week on a zoom call there's a private facebook group there's a book club oh wow there's lessons. you have all that already in place oh yeah 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 okay and then the leadership is more for sole entrepreneurs and they okay. get a second call that's group coaching they learn technology but we always bring it back to principle we start with prayer we do invocations benedictions everything okay, okay. um expert interviews da 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 and the ambassadors are independent contractors that are actually able to take the brand out use the logos, get trained in the teachings, okay. and do it all. So, and yeah. also put on these events at, their, at the different yes. cities. And okay. we do affiliate 50-50. Okay. Wow, the first, that's great. Yep, for membership and leadership 50-50 with anybody who wants to do affiliate and 20% for ambassadors. So okay. my commitment <laughs> is I'm partners with the universe and everybody right. is the universe, right? right. So right. that's my deal. And more. Mm -hmm sharing what you know yeah. sharing the wealth so to speak yeah. and gotta and, give it away yeah mm -hmm. that's amazing but i well, love what you're doing thank and i'm you. just so honored to be here with you yeah i am too mm -hmm. well i ask all my guests at the end of the show if they had to sum up their mission in one word what awakening be? easy yep. mm -hmm. i love that and that is what's happening it is happening and it's so beautiful to be a part of it yeah that's I why know. I wrote I a love book. this call right time. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Yeah. When did that? Um, I think the book's been out for two years yes. now. Awakening. It's a forty-day guide to, okay. you know, awakening your spiritual powers, your life purpose. And, and you can find that dreams. on Amazon. Amazon. A seller. Okay. Went viral over in the UK. It's been pretty fun. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, thank you. I love you. I love you too.